Um, HBO is announcing HBO Max, which will encompass and incorporate many different shows and stuff. Roxy, do you have any insight as to whether regular HBO is going to keep going as it is? And 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 so, and we heard DC Universe is for now, not nothing's being done to it. So 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 far, what THR was reporting and other places are reporting that DC Universe, HBO Go, and CW Seed, which are all of their streaming platforms, right. are not going to be changed by HBO Max. Now, we have to assume that that will uh, change over time and also that there's at least going to be a bundle kind of situation the mm-hmm. same way Disney is doing you know Disney's doing it with Disney Plus ESPN Hulu uh, all of their Disney properties are going to be able to be bundled and that ultimately will probably include FX FXX all of the Fox Disney merger stuff well so, it's funny you should say that because yeah just today I heard that FX Plus is being discontinued by Disney so they're probably moving things over and switching things around so you have to assume that there's going to be a bundle situation, although I'm not exactly sure because you would, I, I think that the titling of HBO Max is not the smartest choice. I, I, I mean, why? I think they should have stuck with either Warner Media or something like Disney Plus, Warner Plus, Warner Max, because HBO Max is not actually what this is. Yeah, because it you know seems what I'm to, saying. Well, it seems to imply. So what we were saying is, so like for the new Euphoria's Succession, Watchmen. Although like I heard Watchmen is going to be on HBO Max. Like, where is that going to live? Is that going to live on like a big HBO, or does HBO Max include the first run new stuff like the that? The things that live on HBO Go as of now are things that are on HBO. Right. So having an HBO Max is strange because is this where ultimately when Warner Brothers decides to do a Harry Potter series, is it now going to live on HBO Max, but it's not on HBO? I just think that them choosing the titling with HBO as, a port- as opposed to Warner is a silly situation. They should have done what the studio, the what the the overhang, the entirety of it, which is Warner, which encompasses both DC and mm-hmm. Harry Potter and a bunch of other properties. Uh, I, so I don't know why they would do this when they have HBO Go, HBO Max, unless they're going to merge them together. Yeah, I'm confused. And chat roll, let me know if you know anything different than I know. But I've, I've read a couple of the articles, and this is where it seems to be unclear. is because they do refer to new series like Insecure, um, like continuing on HBO Max. So I wonder if, like, certain series are going to be new for HBO Max, but not new for regular HBO. Like, And is everything that's on HBO Max going to be on HBO the same way HBO Go is? Because then it just it's getting very cloudy. Yeah, and I have DC a lot of questions. And is DC going to be swallowed by HBO Max? What they need to do is they need one overarching streaming service, and it should right. be called Warner something or Warner Brothers something to have that name recognition although of course HBO is doing really well but it's a separate separate branch and then they need to bundle if you want if you want Warner uh, Media plus HBO that's $15 if you also want to get the DC service although I don't think they should have done a DC service I think that should be part of Warner Media then it's $20 like whatever and I'm I think you're these right out. I agree with you I think that the way to bring them all together is bundling because DC Universe behaves differently because it has the comics and everything now we saw the Doom Patrol logo on the HBO Max trailer so it two things it makes me think a, Doom Patrol is getting a second season. It will be announced at Comic-Con. But it will not be on DC. It will be on HBO Max. See, that would be... So that's a crazy leap. We, yeah. But, so, if so, yeah, if they say that DC Universe is unaffected, right now, it's just a little weird because we don't really have anything greenlit past what we know is already in production for DC Universe. So when they announce Doom Patrol and they say Which Doom Patrol is, season two is going to premiere on DC Universe and then after its run it will be on HBO Max as well, that will sort of make a little bit of sense. If that's what they say. If that's what they say. But right now we know Titans two is coming out, Star Girls coming out, Harley Quinn animated series coming out. That's all we really know. That's all it's official. But Comic Con is in a couple of weeks away, and we know DC Universe is going to have a big presence. At Comic Con, right? I, I I'm seeing a lot of different uh, mixed reactions in the chat right now. The Blair Bitch Project, funny name by the way, says if Warner bundles all their channels, I would pay fifteen dollars. I'm not even at that point yet because you have to think about all the things that they could bundle, and I would have to know what everything they were willing to bundle was. But uh, 
I, Ivan Soto, Ivan Soto says, this sucks. I don't think this sucks. It's not a, a huge issue. It's just unclear. And I wish that DC and Warner Brothers in general, in general were clearer with their messaging sometimes. Because it was very clear when Disney Plus launched. And I know that this isn't always about a comparison, but I'm just talking about another streaming service because it's more, closer to this time than Netflix was. When Disney Plus launched and you found out that they were doing Mandalorian, Mm-hmm. Cassie and Andor, mm-hmm. three separate uh, projects for Marvel mm-hmm. with three huge people from their movies. You know, you're looking at that, and that's the content that they're making on Disney. This is classic, like, Disney, Marvel versus, like, the DCU announcement years ago. Right. It's like Marvel's ducks in a row. They do this El Capitan Theater announcement of their slate. Warner Brothers has a whole sleet, slate. It's a sleety slate. Sleety slate. That was, like, given in a in a, in a, in a investor's call, and it's leaked, but there's no sex appeal but to it. Nobody knows. They're like, HBO Max. And everybody's like, cool. What is it? So, yeah, yeah. It's just, there's so many questions. Questions. What are you launching with? Where is your Harry Potter series? What is, like, launch and say, here are the three original shows we're going to be doing on this. Pull from your franchises. Or tell us, because all we know is they're going to be getting friends. Well, we also heard the the Game of Thrones prequel series is rumored to be there. I I just want to, I guess. Yeah, that's true. It would just make more sense if this is HBO moving forward, though, right? Like, HBO, there should be no separate HBO other than HBO Max. That's what, that's where, where I, it gets weird for me. Like, all the new stuff has to be on HBO Max, right? That's where you, you're charging 17, I guess, bucks a month, which is, then it's, that's about what HBO Now costs, though, too. HBO Now costs, like, 13 14 $15. The, the whole thing. The whole thing. It just, it's messy. <sighs> And they needed this to be super crystal clear or they needed to hold off on the announcement. But I feel like their hands were tied because everything that's going on with DC uh, Universe with the cancellation of Swamp Thing, Do you, not um, announcing a Doom Patrol season two yet. I feel like they were trying to say, don't worry, we have HBO Max coming, but, but they didn't explain anything. Hey, Popcorn Talk fans. If you like this clip, be sure to check out the link in the description below to see the whole episode. Also, we'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and comment your thoughts. No matter what you're a fan of, we have a show for you. See you at the movies.